Welcome here please like and subscribe the channel. Raymond Albert Kroc He was an American businessman. He purchased the fast food company McDonald's in 1961 and was its CEO from 1967 to 1973. Kroc is credited with the global expansion of McDonald's, turning it into the most successful fast food corporation in the world. It was largely what allowed them to sell their 100 millionth burger just three years after Kroc founded McDonald's system. Due to the company's growth under Kroc, he has also been referred to as the founder of the McDonald's Corporation. He did it all when he was 52 years old, once saying, I was an overnight success all right, but 30 years is a long, long night. The key to success is being in the right place at the right time, recognizing that you are there, and taking action. The quality of a leader is reflected in the standards they set for themselves. If you work just for money, you'll never make it. But if you love what you're doing, and you always put the customer first, success will be yours. The more I help others to succeed, the more I succeed. To be successful, you must be daring, be first and be different. I don't believe in saturation, we're thinking and talking worldwide. Luck is a dividend of sweat, the more you sweat, the luckier you get. You'll learn more about a road by traveling it than by consulting all the maps in the world. None of us is as good as all of us. There's almost nothing you can't accomplish if you set your mind to it. Look after the customer and the business will take care of itself. I put the hamburger on the assembly line. We're not in the hamburger business, we're in show business. I believe in God, family, and McDonald's, and in the office, that order is reversed. I like to get people fired up, fill them with zeal for McDonald's, and watch the results in their work. It is no achievement to walk a tightrope laid flat on the floor. I didn't invent the hamburger, I just took it more seriously than anyone else. McDonald's is a people business, and that smile on that counter girl's face when she takes your order is a vital part of our image. If any of my competitors were drowning, I'd stick a hose in their mouth and turn on the water. It is ridiculous to call this an industry. This is not. This is rat eat rat, dog eat dog. I'll kill them, and I'm going to kill them before they kill me. You're talking about the American way of survival of the fittest. That's the name of the game, pleasing the customer. If we ever lose sight of that fact, we've lost the ball game. You're only as good as the people you hire. Adversity can strengthen you if you have the will to grind it out. When you're green, you're growing. When you're ripe, you rot. The definition of salesmanship is the gentle art of letting the customer have it your way. Take calculated risks. Act boldly and thoughtfully. Be an agile company. I was 52 years old. I had diabetes and incipient arthritis. I had lost my gallbladder and most of my thyroid gland in earlier campaigns, but I was convinced the best was ahead of me. Happiness is not a tangible thing. It's a byproduct, a byproduct of achievement. If you're not a risk taker, you should get the hell out of business. The two most important requirements for major success are, first, being in the right place at the right time, and second, doing something about it. McDonald's is a people business, and that smile on that counter girl's face when she takes your order is a vital part of our image. In business for yourself, but not by yourself. 
Perfection is very difficult to achieve, and perfection was what I wanted in McDonald's. Everything else was secondary for me. The McDonald brothers were simply not on my wavelength at all. I was obsessed with the idea of making McDonald's the biggest and the best. They were content with what they had. They didn't want to be bothered with more risks and more demands. We provide food that customers love day after day after day. People just want more of it. It's easy to have principles when you're rich. The important thing is to have principles when you're poor. If you're not a risk taker, you should get the hell out of business. Thank you and please like and subscribe the channel.